Welcome to Structon where I talk about the latest developments in robotics and artificial intelligence. Today, I have a very special story to share with you. It's about Karen, a 50-year-old woman from Sweden who has become the first human to receive a robotic limb fused with both her nervous and skeletal systems. She is being dubbed the real bionic woman and her story is truly inspiring. Karen lost her right hand in a farming accident more than 20 years ago. She spent years dealing with excruciating phantom limb pain, and the existing conventional prosthetic limbs were uncomfortable and not great for everyday use. She said, It felt like I constantly had my hand in a meat grinder, which created a high level of stress and I had to take high doses of various painkillers. But everything changed when she heard about a revolutionary project called the TOP, which stands for Dexterous Transradial Osseointegrated Prosthesis with Neural Control and Sensory Feedback. This project was funded by Horizon 2020, the European Commission's research program, and involved a multidisciplinary group of engineers and surgeons from Sweden, Australia, and Italy. The goal of the project was to develop an interface that would allow amputees to have more natural and intuitive control over their artificial limbs, as well as to feel some sensations in them. To achieve this, they combined two innovative techniques, osseointegration and targeted muscle re -innervation. Osseointegration is the process that connects bones to the electrodes implanted in the nerves and muscles. This creates a direct link between the skeleton and the prosthesis, which improves stability, comfort, and durability. Targeted muscle re is a surgery that rearranges nerves and muscles in the residual limb and links them to the remaining muscles. This allows the brain to send signals to the prosthesis through the nerves, just like it would do with a natural limb. Karen underwent these procedures in 2019 and received a new bionic hand called Mia Hand, developed by Princilia, an Italian company that manufactures robotic limbs. The Mia Hand has 16 sensors that can detect pressure, temperature, and vibration, and transmit them back to Karen's brain through the electrodes. It also has six motors that can move the fingers independently, allowing Karen to perform various tasks such as grasping, pinching, and pointing. Since then, Karen has been using her bionic hand for three years now, and she says it has changed her life for the better. She can now do 80% of what she used to do with both hands, such as turning doorknobs, cooking meals, typing on a keyboard, and even playing cards. She also feels some sensations in her artificial hand, such as warmth, coldness, and touch. She said, it's fantastic to feel something again with my right hand. A study published in Science Robotics revealed that Karen's case is a success story that demonstrates how advanced technology can restore human function in an unprecedented way. The researchers said that they are still far away from replicating all the functions of a biological hand, but they definitely made a considerable step forward. They also hope that their results can help other amputees who suffer from limb loss and improve their quality of life. They said, the ultimate goal is to make a more natural way to replace a lost limb. I think this story is amazing and inspiring, and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. If you want to learn more about Karen's story and the Detop project, you can check out the links in the description below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell icon to get notified of my future videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time.